Hello, good morning. It is Sherry Ann with Yarning with Mimi. Welcome. This is episode 46. And I can see my voice is not, or my sound is not coming out the way. It just looks weird. It's probably going to look weird on the, on the podcast. Anyways, today is December the 5th. This is going to be a very short podcast. Um, I'm just going to share with you a few life events and uh, then just hop off here. Um, it is uh, really raining and gloomy outside today. I actually love this kind of weather, so it doesn't bother me any. But I have things I want to do, and I don't want to go out and get drenched. So anyways, um, as I said, this is Yarning with Mimi. I call it Yarning with Mimi because that is what my grandchildren call me, Mimi. Um, I'm coming to you from Harlingen, Texas, and this will be the last time I podcast in Harlingen, Texas. Mm, fiber. So I'll tell you all about that in a little bit. So anyways, um, let me share with you, I went to a wedding a week ago today. My uh, daughter got married here in Harlingen at her uh, husband's uh, childhood home in the backyard. It was beautiful. They live right on the Rosaka and you could see all these ducks flying past and it was just very beautiful. But um, it also was a gloomy day that day. It wasn't cold, but uh, we got poured on. We all got drenched. It was an outdoor wedding. It was fantastically beautiful. We had a blast. We got soaked, but we just had so much fun. It could not have been any more perfect than what it was. So they are now in Colorado for two weeks uh, for their honeymoon. Um, I won't see her before I leave, but uh, hopefully uh, she'll swing by and visit on her way back uh, from Colorado. So that's the wedding. Um, I mentioned on my last podcast that I had uh, applied for a position in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, I have two daughters that have their families uh, further up north in Texas and I rarely get to see the grandchildren. And so I've decided I am on my own now. And as you can see back there, my all my angels, I'm packing. So my shelves are empty. I um, have accepted the position in Fort Worth, Texas. They made a good offer. Uh, it is an increase in salary. It is an increase in responsibility. And mind you, the uh, cost of living up there is more expensive than it is down here. So I needed that increase. But um, Dallas is where, where one of my daughters lives with my grandchildren. Uh, her house is 31 miles away from where I work. So I'll be staying at my daughter's uh, house uh, for a couple of months. So I can save up some money, you know, for all those... Uh, pesty uh, deposits and down payments you have to make when you're moving into a new home and uh, setting up things and plus I have to move my my furniture I don't have a whole lot but the quote that I received was over two thousand dollars so I need to save up for that and get my stuff moved up anyway so today I've been packing all morning right now it's 10 o'clock I've been up since about 7 and I've packed several boxes. Uh, I have my yarn all packed up and I have yarn that I'm taking with me, uh, of course. And so um, I'm so excited because tomorrow I'll finish packing up my kitchen because I do need my kitchen tonight to eat. And uh, Monday morning at eight o'clock, the movers are coming to pack me up. Or not pack me up, but take all my stuff. I'll, I'll have everything packed. But they'll be taking everything on the truck and uh, moving it into storage for me. And it'll stay in storage here until I get my own place. And then we'll figure out how to get uh, my furniture from here to there. So, on Monday morning, the movers should probably not take any more than three hours. And then I am hitting the road. I will be going to Georgetown, which is about five hours, maybe a little more. From here where my other daughter lives with with my my grandchildren and so I'll stay there for a few days 
and then I'll complete my journey, which will be another three hours to Dallas, and um, <clears throat> actually another two and a half hours, two and a half hours to Dallas, and then I'll be at my daughter Shannon's house um, for a couple of months. And so for the so I should be there about Wednesday, maybe Thursday. So for three days I have to practice driving from Dallas to Fort Worth. Don't know what the traffic's going to be like, and uh, make sure I can find my way to work. Because <laughs> I start on the 14th, and I don't want to be late on my first day of work. Okay, so um, I think it's only been I think it's probably been two weeks since my last podcast because. I don't think I podcasted last week. That was that was the wedding. But I have only worked on washcloths. Here, I'm just going to turn this. And so here is my stack of washcloths that I completed uh, since last podcast. And uh, it is, oh, I think I counted 27. So 27 washcloths since last podcast. Anyways, um, I think that's all I have to share with you. I um, had to rehome my my cats. Um, one of them was a blind uh, five month old kitty, and uh, I was able to uh, actually a lady I know helped me find a shelter in Austin for special needs animals, and so she's going there, and they've already made an appointment to. Um, clean out her eye socket where she's missing an eyeball and they're going to clean that out and I think they started her on antibiotics and uh, they're going to fuse or permanently close the the socket so that it doesn't get irritated and all that so she's gone to a really good place and I'm very happy for that because I didn't want to take her to the shelter you know she is a special needs cat and she just needs some extra tender loving care Okay, so that's it for now. I don't know when I'll be back on again. I will be in a house full of people. I'm moving in with my daughter, her husband, her two children, and her husband's family live there. The mom, the dad, the brother, the sister, and the brother's girlfriend. It's going to be a house full. So don't know where I'll be able to set up and do any podcasts. Um, it might be a couple of months because I may wait until I get my own place and start back up so please don't forget about me um i'll i'll try to hop on um hopefully before a couple of months but uh we'll see um i've been really busy lately uh with packing and and getting things ready and with my school i'm taking two courses this session we're already halfway through this session and um so yeah i guess that's it anyways uh everybody if I don't come back on in December, have a wonderfully fantastic holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Stay safe. And uh, ta-ta for now. I love y'all and uh, I'll be back. Just not sure when. Alrighty. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.